The old growth forests in Walpole are magnificent and testament to the resolve of many West Australians. So determined that these trees remain untouched for future generations to enjoy, that they put themselves well and truly in the firing line and the results speak for themselves. There are all sorts of ruggedy, outdoorsy type ways to get in touch with Mother Nature up here. You could canoe, you could hike, you could climb through the treetops. However, today, you can leave your sensible shoes at home because I found a little stroll. First up, though, a little drive. 8 k's from the Walpole Visitor Centre is a patch of old growth forest known as Swarbrick. Some of the trees here are 400 years old, but at one point they were destined for the axe. Looking around this peaceful spot now, it's hard to imagine it swarming with protesters determined to stop old growth logging. But look, they were successful and the next government that came to power in WA did so on the platform that it would halt old growth logging. Wait to see what's been created to celebrate just how important this wilderness is. Walpole Wilderness was declared in 2004 and it covers almost 400,000 hectares, including Swarbrick. As a ranger, Tim Foley's role is to look after the wilderness. He was also part of a team that put together an art installation known as the Swarbrick Art Loop. The walk starts by passing through this wall of our perception and then it leads us around a little trail with various installations to tell a little bit of a story about an artist or several artists' response to the wilderness. And there's some fascinating comments about people's perceptions of wilderness, the history of what wilderness is in our, you know, European culture, as well as reflecting on that from an Aboriginal perspective as well. And then it's through the doorway to several more sculptures, each an interpretation of what wilderness means and has meant. This one is the colonial totem. All that forestry equipment representing changes to the environment are the huge job the early settlers faced trying to clear this land for agriculture. And this huge disc, or 5,000 seeds as it's known, is about the fertility of the forest and nature and its capacity to regenerate. A number of the sculptures are suspended above the path, including the golden torus, which is the ancient geometric metaphor of nature, symbolising the interconnectedness of all living things. Or, it kind of looks like a giant wedding ring. It's all about interpretation. Everyone will see something slightly different. It holds emotion for people to this side, and I think using art hopefully is a way of getting people to think in a maybe a different way about a period of time preserving our old growth forests. I love that wall, but my favourite would have to be this one. It's called the Ghost Feather, and despite its size, it looks like it could just gently float to the ground in front of us. It's about the fragility of life, and I suppose how close we were to losing these beautiful trees, which, of course, are a work of art all on their own. I quite like the Ring of Tourists as well. Do you like my halo? There are plans to expand the number of artworks on this loop. So if you're an artist and you're passionate about nature, why don't you give Tim a call? There is no money involved in it, but mind you, people once thought there was no money in preserving old growth forests either.